Okay, I wanted to make this quick. Uh, well, I wanted to do like an A B comparison between um, shooting um, shooting portrait as opposed to shooting like landscape. Um, and also, I mean, I should have tested them separately in that basically have a four GoPros um, shooting portrait and then four GoPros shooting landscape. But as it, as it, as it is. Um, I've got um, portrait in the um, linear mode, landscape in the fisheye mode, and then. Um, but there's not really, you know. I still went to the camera calibration, and on the fisheye one, set it to fisheye up here, which I uh, I mentioned this in the note, pin note in the last video I did, um, and then the rolling shutter compensation. And these are also shot in the flat color profile, and these are one in the um, GoPro color profile. Um, and you'll see that the grays are sl slightly, or the shadows are slightly sort of washed out. Um, and the only real, so I reckon, if we compare them side by side, uh, there just there seems a bit more crispness. Um, but I think that's more in the um, portrait one as opposed to the landscape one. But I think this is all to do with the color profile, um, in that there's more contrast in, in the image. Um, so, but then if you look at things like the drain pipe, um, it seems better resolved, or the, the gutter, um, seems better resolved in the landscape flat colour profile. And I, and I mean, it just seems a little bit softer, less crispy, but then in the shadow, I guess in the shadows, there's more colour information for it to work with. So if we look at the, the car there, it just seems cleaner. Um, so I'm going to go with doesn't really matter about the as long as it's not the super view mode but you can be wide as long as they're all wide all the gopros or all linear or all portrait or all landscape doesn't that that doesn't seem to really matter um and i, I also i did do one with the the hex setup in landscape and that seemed to resolve a little better um but it's it's a lot more work. It, you know, it's, it's six cameras as opposed to four cameras. So it's sort of it's just a question of what's really important to you. Do you want to cover a large area, or have maximum detail in a small area? You know, um, because obviously that's taking, you know, it's going to take considerably longer to process. Um, you know, a, 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 a GoPro rig with six cameras than four. Um, and I, I, the whole point of this whole thing is to try and I want to cover a certain, you know, ideally like sort of entire village or something. Um, but yeah, you can see there's there's not a massive amount of difference, and the difference we're seeing is all to do with the color profile. And even even they think, oh, well, we want sharper, not if it's noise. You don't want sharper, really, and that's what we're getting. I think uh, if you look at, um, I mean, the drain pipes are a particularly good example, but I, I would probably go with with a slightly softer look. Um, which is, you know, the, where the drain pipes are resolved better, um, and also the window frames. I, th I think this is this has got to be the fact that it's got color. Um, you know that we get we're shooting in the flat profile. We're we're getting color information in the shadows that we're not getting when it with the GoPro color profile. So that's my the long and the short of it. It's a portrait landscape doesn't really matter. I mean, you would think well, there's overlap. I'll put the cameras on so you can see exactly how I how it was shot um and then we have the portrait ones and i covered more area so it's got slightly more but yeah so it doesn't really matter with the the main thing seems to be the color profile um and i'm go i'm going to go with the flat color profile um the newer gopros gopro 12 and 11 can shoot raw um so i get that might be a, a dng i guess so that could be useful. I mean, obviously these are quite old cameras now. So I have kind of thinking, oh, maybe I should get four of the latest cameras. But um, I think if I do that, I'm, I must. I've just got, I just got too many cameras. So I need to possibly sell the older ones. But yeah, so shoot with the flat color profile. Portrait landscape doesn't really matter. And I mean, you know, because because we've got the rolling shutter compensation. So then, then the next thing is like, well, what's more useful? And because you you know your 16 by 9 monitor is more of a, a landscape monitor than a portrait one, I would say go with landscape. And then, but regarding whether you should shoot in the um, linear or wide mode, the fisheye mode or the or the sort of rectilinear mode, I would probably go with rectilinear or the or the linear mode 
just because it's easy to work with in 3D. Because if you take, you, you'll be able to take this into your Blender or wherever and assign the correct image, and you won't be able to line up the geometry if if it if it's got the lens distortion. And so, for for sort of workflow purposes, shoot. Um, I would I would shoot linear with the flat color profile in in landscape, and four cameras should be sufficient. So that's my sort of rundown. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you know the information I was putting out there was as good as I could make it be. So A B testing effectively, you know, the two setup. I should have just changed the one factor. I've changed several factors, um, but I think I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that the um, the sharpness and the noise that we're getting in the first one is due to the the fact that it's a uh, you know Rec 709 the GoPro color profile and the the reason why we get the smoothness and better re resolution of stuff in shadows is to do with the with the flat profile so I hope that's just some use to somebody I've, I've also provided um, STL files all the different setups uh, you know for, for you to 3d print your own mount and if you go on eBay I've also found the a quarter inch thread insert that you can put in so then you can just screw it onto any standard tripod if you found this information useful I'd, I'd really appreciate it you know what's coming if um yeah if you'd like share and subscribe okay that's it